I've been receiving a lot of views, comments and replies to my videos about M1 Pro Converter. So I decided to make a video regarding all the questions in the comment section. Kindly subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button if this helps you. This by far is the most asked question of all time. And the answer for that is yes, it works on every phone that is capable of handling multitasking and it's either iOS or Android. Take into consideration the chipset you are using and watch the video on how to activate it. You can use any type of mouse or keyboard too. You're liking even the wireless types. I use one-handed keyboard so there's a lot of space I can use on my table. The delay is 6 milliseconds. It's not a deal breaker because you will not notice any delays in game. This also wouldn't affect your skills if you are used to playing mouse and keyboard. You cannot use this for normal keyboard like typing because this requires mapping technique each controls but the mouse works like a usual pc mouse you can click everything and use scroll key in my opinion first person shooting games especially the popular one are subject for new updates and detections of illegal advantages in game future updates may bend this converters i'll give update in this channel once i'm banned Note that this converters aren't an advantage to players who uses their fingers to play. The delay and reaction time in pressing buttons in the keyboard are the reasons why. You'll understand this once you have experience playing using mouse and keyboard in F's games. In my personal experience, I haven't experienced any bug yet, but one time, I did experience something was weird on my movements. It is moving diagonally then going straight, and I solved this by going to the Kugamer app and turning on the specific setting. Enable this, and make sure to check every settings in Kugamer app, so you won't face any problem while playing. You can copy my setup since this is both applicable to Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG. I've made a video on how to do this, and the disadvantage so make sure to check it out before you proceed. For other games such as PUBG, it's automatic reduced of recoil once you enable this setting. Don't expect to much because recoils also needs the slight control of mouse movement going down. You can also experiment in the settings for your own taste of sensitivity, and keep in mind this important rules to follow before you play. The M1 Pro costs only $6-7 shipping fee not included, available online in different markets depending on the seller. It usually includes mouse and keyboard plus basic phone stand. Check out my playlist in my channel there's a tutorial video, tips and tricks and gameplays to watch. This tutorial isn't the same as other converters since it has its own app to use but it's very easy to learn. Go to settings and look at this option, if this is toggle on this means that you need to press tab to open the mouse cursor, if it's turn off, you just press on your scroll key on your mouse, turning it off is vice versa, note that you can't click in the game or move easily once the mouse cursor is on, the mouse cursor stays on its position where you left it. If you don't want to use this as a default movement, you can toggle this setting off and it will enable you to map WASD keys to your desired part. Keep in mind to turn it back on when you want to use the default movement again. This is a cheap converter, so damaged or malfunctioning items cannot be avoided. Once you have checked all the options and tutorials, but it still doesn't work properly, message the seller and they might give you a refund. So it's very important to buy on those stores with high ratings for follow-ups. Check your converter and you'll notice a button. In the middle, press it and you'll see the blue lights move from one hole to another. This lights are presets, so there are 8 presets in total meaning of 8 games you can mapped. Yes, this is possible using a converter if you have limited power sockets nearby, but this isn't fast charging. You can spot a USB hole in the converter, plug it while playing if you have low battery and you just want it to extend the gaming experience from your phone. That's the end of the questions. Please do keep in mind all those answers because it will help you in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day ahead.